Okay. Story time. Interesting. That's really interesting right now. Two goals I made after living abroad were to spend a lot more time focusing on real life connections versus digital connections. And the other one was to spend a lot more time exploring the outdoors. So I went on a three week road trip across the US and Canada with this guy, Damien. We call it the less scrolling and more strolling adventure. We drove over 6,100 miles between nine states, two countries, and six national parks. We hiked over 175 miles across all types of terrains, from towering trees and a moody ocean beach to lakes on the ground and ones that were hidden in the mountains. Across the different landscapes, we had a few surprise meetings. Yep, that's a grizzly. That bison totally wants to cut us off. <laughs> when we weren't exploring, we were cooking and chatting around the fire during all hours of the day. We even had our own band for an hour. Our audience? This guy. I suppose we weren't too bad because then his friends showed up. And speaking of friends, we met a new one while exploring. Her name's Natalie. I even shared my new hammock with her, because that's what real friends do. I've learned a lot of lessons while traveling, <laughs> but the most important ones are to surround yourself around the right people. Support brands that share the same values as you. Never stop exploring and focus on what makes you happy, not what you think will make you appear to be happy. Ozzy and the Fancy Campers. And don't worry if you're struggling to find out what makes you happy because I find that getting lost outdoors is the best way to figure out what's going on indoors. Get it? Thought it was clever, maybe. You, know, you don't have to think it's clever, but I thought it was. I thought about that when I was in the hammock. <laughs>